What is up you guys? My name is Lily. I'm a fiber artist and knitwear designer and I like to make things. Today's video is similar but different to all of my other videos in the sense that yes, I'm making something with my knitting machine. However, it's going to be slightly less crazy than the other stuff that I've made, but still really fun and exciting and essential. So today I'm going to be making this set. It's gonna be perfect. And without further ado, let's just get right into it. Yes, I'm just wearing my robe. And honestly, in all these videos, it's kind of humiliating, but I'm always just wearing pajamas. But I'm at home, you know what I mean? Um, I did my hair though. But anyways, today we are doing something exciting, but more basic. I make a lot of crazy stuff on my channel. Exhibit A, B, C, D. And I love everything that I've made, but I want something that is simple and something that I can wear on a daily basis. So today I'm going to be making this on my center knitting machine and it's going to be just for me and I'm going to love every second of it. I've already cast it on my waist yarn. I've already cast it on my body yarn and I'm doing 41 stitches for this. So I'm starting on the front panel of the top now. That's what we're working with. And thank you so much for being here. Oh my God, this is so annoying. So I'm doing 120 rows and I'm on my 118th row and this is how much yarn I have left. I have to add new yarn. That's not enough for two rows. Uh, why couldn't it have been perfect? Okay, angles. So I'm gonna do my last two rows now. I just added more yarn. But like I said, I did 120 rows for this top. And that was based on like, pretty much like all my other tutorials. Um, I had like my mini dress tutorial. I wanted to hit like, at my hips and be like sort of a longer top. So just did my 122nd row. And now I'm gonna go in with my waist yarn. And just like that, the first piece is done. I am loving this length already and the color is like randomly kind of cute and nice. But like I said, this is the front panel. I'm gonna go make the back panel off camera. But first I'm gonna tell you about my friends at Anna Luisa. I just wanted to take a moment to thank Anna Luisa New York for sending me some of their gorgeous jewelry. If you don't already know, Anna Luisa New York is a 100% carbon neutral jewelry company that sells high quality jewelry at really affordable prices. If you watch any of my videos, you know I love jewelry. I wear like 10 necklaces and 10 rings. I am an aficionado <laughs> and I really do love Anna Luisa's jewelry. Here's the lowdown. Their jewelry ranges from $39 to a couple hundred dollars because they offer solid gold and diamond, which is really amazing to me. And it's also great because they have something for everybody. If you can't drop a couple hundos on some gold necklaces, you can get gold plated necklaces, which are also really great. So right now I'm wearing the Mish necklace, the Paisley ring in silver and the Brody ring. So all of Anna Luisa's jewelry comes in environmentally friendly packaging, which is super cool. These little envelopes can be reused for stuff and I'm just showing you my little unboxing. So I have the Mish necklace, like I said, the Paisley ring in silver and that is the Brody ring. I really love these pieces because they're simple but timeless and I also love a little silver and gold like mix matching moment which the Brody ring ties in the gold and the silver and I love a signet ring as well as a figaro chain so here I'm showing off the Brody ring she's a little sleigh girl I love her I'm wearing a size eight and a half by the way and this baddie feels so sturdy I love a little square signet moment and here we have the paisley ring and she's like very cute and delicate great for stocking i'm wearing it on my pointer finger and it's just so cute and delicate i love her and then we have the miche necklace i love the green like jade tone and the figaro chain like i said earlier it has an adjustable clasp which is also super nice and it's like i think it's 16 inches long so it sits like at a really nice place in the chest but i love all these pieces together and thank you so much anna luisa don't forget to use code lilyf20 for 20 percent off your order and the second panel is done boom are you guys proud of me? So now I have the front and back panels. Next up is the arms. I feel like this is kind of boring, but hopefully you guys are into it. I'll catch you in a second. I'm back. Hi guys, it's the next day. Well, actually it might be a few days from when I last filmed. Um, I made the front and back panels as you saw, and now it's time for the arms, which I always feel like it's gonna be super fast and easy. And then I realized the arms are like basically the exact same amount of work as doing the front and back. But I'm gonna start the arms. I think I might run out of green yarn, which I'm like scared about. Cause like, I really wanted this set to be like a perfect one color set moment, but I might have to improvise, but that's what we're working with right now.
This is all the yarn I have left for this project. I'm like, do we really think that I can make two arm panels and a skirt with this? We shall see. Worst case scenario, I might do like a little bit of like a green to teal gradient moment, but I'm gonna try to make it work. On to my last ball. I'm scared. Boom. Okay. Don't mind my dirty dishes. Well, actually, they're clean dishes, so you're welcome, everybody. I just finished my first arm panel. Yay. I think I'm going to time lapse or transition the next one to make it ultra satisfying for the viewers. But good job, me. Also, for anyone curious, that took me like 15 minutes to make that panel. If anyone cared. Okay, front panel's done, arm panel's done. Here's my truth. I only have this much yarn left. It's definitely not enough for a skirt for all this. So I'm gonna have to go in with the second color and I'm deciding between two. Teal or green? Like, do we want a this moment or do we want a this moment? I'm kind of into this. I think I'm just gonna do this. Fuck it. So I'm gonna do a skirt panel now and I think I'm gonna do four panels for my skirt because I don't want it to be like see-through at all because then I'll actually like wear it and I have like pretty wide hips. If you're making this, I don't know, maybe you don't need four panels, but so I'm gonna do my hips and I'm gonna figure out now how long the skirt needs to be. A professional at work, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just using these two panels I already made to see how long the skirt should be. Slay the day. Um, oh God. Now you can see why I need two panels. This is like stretched to the max and this is like probably the largest panel size I could do. Um, yeah. I'm thinking the skirt can stop like here. So I'm just gonna mark like right here. Is that short? Is that too short? Too short? <laughs> no, I'm scared. I kind of want like a little mini moment, but at the same time, like I want to actually wear this and that's my truth. Okay. I just marked it. I'm going to count how many rows that is and I'll let you guys know. Game plan. I'm going to do two panels for the front and back of the skirt that are going to be 30 inches wide and 83 inches long. That's how long that I counted just now. And I am going to do like maybe 25 rows on each panel of light green and then I'm going to go in with a dark green and I also have to wind this up which is really annoying but that's my plan. All right, all right, all right. First skirt panel done. Cute. Um, I'm a little scared. I think it might be kind of short. Um, we will both find out very soon. I'm gonna do the next three off camera though because this cannot be interesting at all to you guys and I'll be right back. <sighs> oh my God. Okay, so I just finished all I just finished all eight pieces. I am tired, okay? I know it seems really easy. I may make it seem easy in the videos, and it is kind of easy, but when you've been using that machine for hours, like you literally just wanted to get the fuck out of her face. Um, so that's where I'm at right now, but I finished all my panels, and I'm gonna remove all the waist yarn off camera because I do that in all my videos, and like you guys are simply probably tired of seeing it. So removing the waist yarn, and then I'm gonna start assembling, so I'll be right back. Please don't mind all the yarn piles that are constantly behind me. My boyfriend hates me. <laughs> Just a little seaming update. So this is what all four panels look like together. So you can see the seams, but it's like relatively seamless, like, oh well. So I just did these four panels and then I'm gonna join them to be a cute little circle skirt. I think this is probably gonna be too short, but we'll see. Um, and I'll be right back. Oh God. <laughs> okay, skirt check. It's too short. Who's surprised? Nobody. I mean, it's like, it's fine. Honestly, I could wear it like low waisted, but um, it's like probably too short for my comfort, but it's fine. Like it's cute. It will achieve the look. Okay. So skirt check assembled. 
Now it's time to do that top. I don't know why I'm so brain dead today. I'm so tired. So I'm gonna take a quick food break and then we're gonna assemble the top. One thing I did wanna mention though is I made the creative decision to do all of my bind offs with the dark green. So the top is gonna have like contrast, dark green stitching moments that'll bring in the skirt. And that is my tea. We're almost there. You guys literally know the, you guys literally know, you guys literally, oh my God, shut the fuck up. You guys literally know the drill. We're attaching at the shoulders first, and then we attach the arms, and all the way up the sides. And then you have a top. So I'm gonna finish all the edges off camera and weave in my little ends, and then I'll do the final reveal. guys um I kind of love it randomly I was like a little dubious like while I was making it because I was like skirt is giving short top is giving really cropped I was hoping it'd be like longer but I actually kind of like love how they look together I kind of love how the skirt is like low waisted and because it's not tight at all it doesn't ride up when I walk so it's kind of like the perfect mini skirt in a way and I kind of like love the two tone and it also looks so cute with my Ana Luisa necklace. Like the green jade with the green, I literally didn't plan that, is so perfect. But for the third time, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like tutorials and crafty girl things, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a like and share it with your crafty girl friends. Don't forget to check the link in the description box for 20% off Ana Luisa jewelry and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.